Several weeks ago, one of my family members got very, very sick. It was one of those ambulance in the middle of the night, hours in the ER sort of things. Thankfully, they're doing much better. They've made almost a full recovery. Um, it was just a very scary experience. I keep having, you know, flashbacks to that night, asking the questions, what if this, what if that? Um, consequently, my brain has been sort of like my work table here, scattered and unproductive. <laughs> So I'm finally in a bit of a better headspace now, and I'm finally ready to get quilting again. But I'm going to start with something nice and easy. I'm going to be working on the Star Pop pattern by Quilty Love. This quilt top is a series of two mirror image blocks, and I'm going to be making the small throw size with a layer cape. And this is actually fat quarter friendly, fat eighth friendly, and layer cake friendly, in case you're wondering. So I'll leave a link to this in my description box below in case you want to follow along. This quilt is going to be for my dad, and his only request was no white. <laughs> so um, it's not going to be a, a light, bright, um, happy quilt. It's going to be a, a darker, more manly quilt. His favorite colors are sort of like greens and blues. Um, he's one of those camo guys, if you know what I mean. <laughs> The kind that just would wear camo everywhere if they could. Luckily, I have this batik layer cake here with tons of blues and dark greens. Um, some light greens in there too. But I think I can make this work. I just need to pull some lighter green fabrics from my stash for the stars. I pulled these light greens from my stash to serve as those stars. And I'll probably repurpose some of these lighter greens in the layer cake. There's just a couple of them um, for the stars as well. So I'm gonna need to fill in the background with some dark colors. And I've just picked out um, these. These are sort of brownish, grayish, and um, another navy. So hopefully I can <laughs> squeeze out the whole quilt from the layer cake and a little bit from my stash. And I don't anticipate using very much of these dark ones here. So the small throw will finish at 52 inches by 60 inches, which is perfect for his recliner, I think. If he wants it any bigger, I can add some borders, but I'll wait until I have um, put that all together and he can test it out. Now, since my dad is not picky, he isn't a, a super fan of handmade things. This is a perfect opportunity to do a little experiment in how I quilt this quilt. I recently came across a quilt as you go method that I think will be perfect for my um, small throat sewing machine and I will take you along on that journey after I've pieced the squares. Um, it's an interesting method if you haven't seen it yet. I've seen it several different places. I don't know if it has a formal name or anything, but I've wanted to do it ever since I saw it, and this will be the perfect chance. So if you want to sew along with me, check out that link in the description. I'm going to demonstrate the blocks next week, and then after that I will demonstrate this quilting method. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you again real soon. Bye!